yes i was a victim of the asthma chalk i got into that asthma chalk i got set back in training i had to i got set back for an extra month this is the part of boot camp that whew, i'm like you know i'm packing my bags i'm going home the next morning revely revely so we had to wake up so we started a grind like you know it was like back to back like i'm like in my head i'm like bro chill i just got here like i slept at 1 a.m like why do y'all like have to wake us up i was just like in my rack and then this random girl came to wake me up that around four that it was gonna be revelry soon and the rdc's don't want to see you sleeping in bed i'm like welcome back to my youtube channel i know it's been a while since i posted a video but yeah i'm back so i'm sandra if you don't know if you're new here i'm sandra i'm just here to talk about my um, military experience and boot camp like my boot camp all the way from the hotel the quarantine in the hotel to graduation yeah, so if you like this video, don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below any questions you have. Like, feel free to ask me any questions you have. If I can help you, I'll try to direct you to the people who can help you. So, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to boot camp on the 1st of June. So, actually, I left on the 31st of May and I got there on the 2nd of June so my flight because of where I was shipping out from I was shipping out from Hawaii so it was like a long flight all the way to Chicago after we got to the airport like so before I go into this video like our experience was like different like it was like different from all the you know the Navy videos I watched on YouTube because so, I I watched like a lot of um, Navy videos prior to boot camp, so I was expecting it to be like that. But because it was COVID and all that, it was like different. So yeah, when we got to the airport, we had to give everybody like bug lunch, like bug. We had to give everybody that, and the bus came and then took us and took us straight to the hotel we were supposed to get quarantined at. So we didn't go straight to boot camp. We went to a hotel first before we went to boot camp. So we. Um, they quarantined us for two weeks. So basically, during that quarantine, all you have to do is be in your room, study your training. Um, did they give us training guide? Mm, nope. So, nah, we didn't get the training guide by then. So you, you just be there, study your chain of command, like all the important things that um, you need to know before you go to big camps. So that period of time, the two weeks actually helped people because some people that I met in actual boot camp were like, oh, they didn't get time to study all that before training. So during those two weeks, we um, they used that opportunity to study, study, practice, you know, some sit-ups and stuff. And basically all I was doing was just like watching YouTube, watching videos, chilling with my roommate, because you can't get out of your room for the um, for the two weeks period. So yeah that was that was basically it for the quarantine and then on the last day they tested everybody so if you if you tested positive for covid i don't i think you don't go straight to boot camp but all the people i know that i met there we all tested negative so we just went straight to boot camp and this is the part of boot camp that whew, i'm like you know i'm packing my bags i'm going home p days was so stressful for me because I sleep early, like naturally. I sleep early. I wake up late. But in P days, so if, okay, let me explain what P days is. P days is just basically where you um you do your paperwork. You take you t you get your shots. You like you know those things to check you in and the and the navy kind of thing for your your ID, your photos, your yeah, your urine test, your analysis, everything, everything. All this. So it was like back to back. You do this, you go to the next place. You do that, and we're all in a, in a line. But my only advantage was 
my last name. My last name starts with an A, so I was always in front, bro. I, I pitied those whose last names were like Z, because we were like a lot of, we were like lots of people like in the line. And if your name is Z, if your last name starts with Z, you're gonna be all the way at the back and wait for all the people in front of you to go first before you so so around 1 1 a.m that was when we finished so that was where um like they put us in divisions and stuff so we went to wait let me go back so they give us most of our stuff in the hotel like your your PT gear, your stuff like that, because you can't have your civilian clothes in your, um, in the hotel. So yeah, I forgot to say this. So this is like, during that time you put your phone, your everything, like everything you came with, your civilian clothes, your everything, everything. You put it in a box, they seal the box. You're not gonna see that box till the day you graduate. Yeah, so I just wanted to put that out there. So yeah. Um, fast forward to 1 a.m. So 1 a.m. was when we, um, we finished. I mean, those that, like, we had the letter A, like, our first, our last name started with A. So we were those group of people that finished early. So they put us in groups and they sent us to our first division. So I got into that division and the, most of them were sleeping and I'm like, oh god so this is training the next morning revely revely so we had to wake up so we started to grind like you know it was like back to back like i'm like in my head i'm like bro chill i just got here like i slept at 1 a.m like why do y'all like have to wake us up i was just like in my rack and then this random girl came to wake me up that around four that it was gonna be revely soon and the rdc's don't want to see you sleeping in bed i'm like I just got here but you know during that time I don't blame myself because I still had that you know civilian civilian mentality so I was expecting everything to go smooth the way I wanted to be because that's how I, I like my stuff to be but I completely forgot that I'm in the military environment so, so yeah I woke up then we started like you know training and then stuff like that i feel like i'm missing out stuff from this experience but my book my boot camp experience was long because your girl got asthma yes i was a victim of the asthma truck i got into that asthma truck i got set back in training i had to i got set back for an extra month first of all i didn't know how to swim i told you if y'all watched any of my videos i didn't know how to swim the first time that I ever like sw like try to enter water is in boot camp because I'm not gonna blame my uh, recruiters because they were like um you don't really not need to know how to swim like you just need to be comfortable with the water so I'm like oh you know what with the whole COVID and everything like I didn't even go to the pool or something if I, all of the pools were closed at where I was so. I'm like, mm, my recruiter was like, you don't need to know how to swim. So I'm just gonna, you know, all I have to do is be comfortable with the water. So that was all I was thinking. I went, we had to jump from a 10 feet tower into a 12 feet deep pool. I got to the edge and there's an instructor here. He was like, step off. I'm like, no, I can't. I can't just see water and step off. He was like, if you don't step off, I'm going to have to push you. I'm like, if you don't push me, I'm not going. If you don't push me, there is no way I'm going to see water and jump in. So you better push me. Before I realized, he already pushed me in the water. And that was it. I blanked out. I don't know what happened. I don't know where I was. I don't know how I got there. But when I woke up, I was on the, I don't know how y'all call it, the shore like not the short the like the you know where the, the bleachers are like on the on the let me just say the floor like before I realized I was on the floor so it means I filled my I drowned so they had to pull me out of the water bring me back to the um the shore like the the floor like you know, the part that you sit before you, you try to like enter the water. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so 
and they were like mm, you failed go to level one so i went to the kiddie pool they tried to yo i was the worst at swimming that is why i keep telling you guys if i pass my swim y'all can do it like if i like pass my swim you guys can do it so yeah it took me to level one they were trying to people so they took us to level one people pass from level one so when you pass level one you go to the next level i was in level one for like weeks like weeks like two weeks straight i was still in level one because i was scared of like the water i couldn't get comfortable with the water i was just scared i'm looking back at my whole mindset and mentality before like how would how would i see water and he told me to float like if you put your hands in water you can see that you are sinking and you expect me to float so that was how i kept failing but you guys if you don't know how to swim and you end up on level one please listen to whatever your swim instructor tells you because it took me two weeks to start listening to them because i felt like everybody i was going to level one with were passing i was the only old person like all the swim instructors got to know me that was how bad i was at swimming so listen to your instructors like they're not gonna they're not dead to kill you like i even asked them that has anybody drawn here before they were like no unless you want to be the first person and i'm like oh no i'm just asking you know just listen to your swim instructors like they tell you to do this do it nothing is gonna like nothing is gonna happen to you like it's everything is in your mind so yeah it took so it took me a while to get comfortable with the level one water it took me a long time two weeks before i went to the next level then um from the next le the next level is actually the five feet pool so i think the first level is the three feet so even in three feet i was drowning <laughs> and that was how bad it was but yeah when your instructors tell you something make sure you listen to them or you're just gonna keep going to the pool keep going to the pool so listen to them and one other problem one other challenge i faced in boot camp was i think my run prior to boot camp i was trying to like you know exercise here and there but i never actually ever run a 1.5 mile in my life ever like i was used i'm like i'm used to like sprinting short distances so when i went to boot camp and we had to go to freedom hall and then all those things they were too much for me so I failed the initial um, PFA, PFA, PRT, PFA. I failed the initial PFA, and that is the one that you were supposed to get your two thousand, um, two thousand dollar bonus. It was only one person out of like ninety people in my division that had that. I remember her. It's only one girl that had that, but everybody else is either they failed in other aspects, either they passed their run fill their swim or fill their swim, pass their run, or didn't do well in the test, or it had to be something because there's I think three requirements that you need to get that two thousand dollars bonus. But I lost it. I already knew I was gonna lose it because if it wasn't my run then it was my swim. But first of all you're gonna meet a lot of negative people. People that just went to boot camp because other people were going um join the military because other people were going people that like you're gonna meet so much negative people that if you listen to them please i'm telling you you're gonna fail like you're just gonna be like one of them there were people that you could see that like were like me we were not bad at running but we just needed that little push that little like exercise that little motivation there were people like me i mean i passed but there were people like me that i feel like when it comes to running we're on the same level but they were listening to their friends who were like extremely bad like extremely bad they were listening to, listening to them hanging out with them oh i don't think i can do this anymore i think the military is not for me like there were people like that and then at the end of the day they all got separated from the military they had to they had to go they had to go because of their run and they yeah you can get like separated because of your run i never knew that i 
I never like that that they can separate you if you don't do well yes they can like they actually can do that it happens to a lot of people I was in division where there is like a lot a lot of drama in boot camp there was this girl that go mad because another girl touched her shampoo without permission and it got to the point where they were actually fighting because of that and then one is a mother with kids and one is just like a high school graduate and i'm like how do y'all like let this little things get out of hand but yeah you're gonna meet stuff like that you're gonna meet worse stuff in boot camp and oof you just have to be strong and keep motivating yourself like why did you come to boot camp like are you not trying to make your parents proud like those questions should like keep popping up in your head and should be the reason why you want to graduate and leave because let me tell you guys this is very easy like the easiest way like when you go to boot camp they're all gonna say the same thing the easiest way to leave that place is to graduate you don't want to go through separation you don't you don't want to go through that long process like months of being in boot camp just because you came and you couldn't pass on leave you don't want to be you don't want to be one of those people like it's I'm not gonna say it's the worst experience to go through because I never like personally went through that but it's not like a pleasant experience no you don't want to go through that and also one of the one of the um, best foods you ever eat in the Navy is in boot camp when I went to boot camp I thought I, mm, the food wasn't that bad it wasn't that good either like it wasn't perfect let me put it that way but it was something you could survive on at the beginning i found it hard to eat it but as time went on i was starving and i'm like bro this is the only thing we got you don't have money is like of no value in boot camp like there is nothing you can buy with money so it's better i learned how to eat the food and survive on it than keep on starving myself so yeah when you go to a school I mean, my A school, the food was not like, it was not that bad. But in boot camp, it was way better. And just wait till you get to the ship. Oh, Lord. The best food you, you can ever eat in the Navy is in boot camp. So when y'all, like, especially the peanut butter jelly and bread, y'all should take advantage of that. Like, it's, it's really good. It's the best thing. It's, it's so refreshing after, like, you go run, you go do all those exercises and stuff like that yeah it's like the like it got to a point in boot camp where like the only thing I, w I wanted to hear in my life was child times like when they say child times oof you know you're gonna eat sometimes the food like the food was so good like they give raves and barbecue sauce and you had drink of your choice, you have like a salad, like it was that good with the female like hair. So let me give you guys, I'm a black girl, so you know, obviously like I always have braids in my hair. So yeah, you can, you can get braids, you can get this kind of things that I have and just like, you know, wrap it around like that. You can get this, just wrap it around in a little bun. Kind of this th that is how I make my hair to work with this hair currently or you can get box braids or you can go with your natural hair so in boot camp we have next a next that sell female hygiene products like her hair shampoo stuff like that they have can too if you use can too you can you can get that they have like natural um hair products for hair they have hair oils so if you watched my other videos you can see that um i i talked about how to manage your hair so the the only thing in boot camp that matter when it comes to your hair is your head being in regulation so it doesn't matter how cute your hair is it doesn't matter how like how old your hair looks as far as in regulations that is what matters because mind you if you don't know how to swim like me you always be going to the pool morning evening morning evening like monday to friday so 
do what they have time to care about your hair to make it cute and all that all you have to do is keep your hair in regulations and that is it you're not going to have any problems with any RDCs or whatever and if you're going with your natural hair make sure that you get hair hair gel from the the necks or you can bring your own hair products from um from home but just make sure that it's gonna be enough for you to um last long it's gonna be enough to last long and i'm gonna like make a video itself i kept saying this but yeah i'm gonna make a video describing the hair types that are acceptable in the navy because when i was going to boot camp i searched on youtube so many times but i never found the exact video i wanted so i'm just gonna make that for you guys to make it simple and also you can take wigs if you don't want to like you can just wear your hair in calm room take wigs and put in a pony so people came with wigs that they were like wearing like you know take off put it back on it like that kind of thing yeah but i didn't want to deal with that because you're gonna be running you don't want to be running on the track and then your wig is on the floor you don't want to do that you don't want to be swimming and swim to the other side and realize that your wig is on the other side of the water you don't want to go through all that but if you think a wig is gonna work best for you he can come with it and there were so many girls that were like oh I, I didn't know what to do with my hair so i had to cut it all and then they regretted it because they came to boot camp and realized that other people were managing managing their hair you can't even find people to braid your hair for you like you can find people like big friends in boot camp like that is the whole preface like oh. i went to boot camp last year last year june and i graduated somewhere in august july august yeah so i um i mean it's not been long but mm, i'm still trying to like go back to remember what exactly happened and also there are so many ways you can rank camp in boot camp you can if you're e1 you can be e2 before you leave boot camp if you're at e2 you can be e3 before you leave boot camp so um yeah take take leadership roles you can be laundry PO. All you have to do is take care of your um, division's laundry. You can be head PO. All you have to do is keep the bathroom and then the toilet clean. You can be a yo man. All you can like, what you have to do is, um, like take master like, not master but like, things to do with paperwork. So yeah, you can that one. You're definitely gonna get ranked out when you choose that position because before you ch and also before you choose all these positions, know that first of all you're academically good to pass your test. You can swim like you know that you're gonna pass that swim once and for all. Also, um, you should be able to run because these leadership roles are gonna take most of your time. And if you're like an average person like me, you wouldn't have time to manage all those two, and you end up getting fired. Like. Please, please go work on your own. You don't want to do that. So, yeah. And you can be our part. That is like the main head of the, the head of the division. Like you are the, the chief, like the recruit chief petty officer. That is what an our part is. You can be the AROC. What you have to do is, um, you know, sing for the division where they are marching kind of thing. Yeah. And the songs are really good because they are so motivating they are uplifting and you know especially during graduation and then you know some of the words in the song you know makes you feel like damn i'm almost a navy sailor kind of thing yeah that's what i'm trying to say so yeah take leadership roles and also learn how to tolerate people like you're gonna meet who i can't stress on this enough but you're gonna meet lots of people in boot camp like first of all before you go to boot camp you should know that there are different people coming together as a team to achieve a goal and there is no way that is gonna work without teamwork yeah i understand that you're gonna meet people that are gonna try to piss you off but you don't want to do anything that is gonna make you end up in trouble because when you when you end up in trouble you're just gonna waste your time in boot camp you're just gonna 
wish it are you're gonna be there longer than you expected and even if you're not fortunate if you're not lucky the person you were even arguing with is gonna graduate and you're still gonna be there because you have a case that needs to be solved like try to let some stuff go when it hurts you and stuff let it go just let it go. That is the only way I survived boot camp because in boot camp I couldn't run, I couldn't swim. All those times that I was going for practice for those two, for those two, my divisions like my division were doing other other forms of training. So I always have to come back, and while they're relaxing, I have to go catch up alone. Like I had all that stress on me, and to top it all, I wasn't hearing from my family. I wasn't receiving any letters, so I was going through so much stress. And the the little thing that somebody can do to me will make me like extremely angry because I was already stressed out. But through all those things I went through, I never let those things get in my head. So yeah, I'm like, please learn to tolerate people. Learn to tolerate people. Do you see something you don't like? If it's that bad, use your chain of command. Go tell your ear off that, hey, hey, this person in this division said this and I don't like it. If you tell them and they don't solve it, go tell your RPOC. Tell them if your RPOC doesn't deal with it, then you go to your, your RDC. You don't just walk up and go to your RDC unless it's a personal situation. It's a personal case that you don't want anybody to know about. But yeah. Also, always learn how to use your chain of command. Even when you go to A school, you go to your first command. That is a really, really important thing. You just, you don't just stand up and go to achieve and to achieve that, hey, hey, I have this problem. It doesn't work that way. You need to tell the person in charge of you. If it's just a supervisor, go, tell, go to tell the first class and the first class go tell a chief. Yeah, so basically, all I'm trying to say is use your chain of command. And... What else? Oh, also, because we went in the COVID season, we did not have a graduation. We did not graduate. Like, we didn't wear our dress whites. We didn't wear our dress blues. We didn't do all that. We just went, we just wore our N NWUs and just went to walk, march, and circle. And then, did eyes right and that was it so if you guys are going to be camp around this time I don't know if you also have graduation but if you already went to be camp when you had graduation yo I'm jealous of you because that was something that I really wanted because my family is in a different country and they were all gonna fly out to come see me graduate but because we didn't have graduation nobody came and even my letters that they wrote they came close to graduation and I'm like but yeah, in all in all, I'm so glad I graduated and I'm now a Navy sailor, you know? Yeah, that is the whole goal. But when you go, never give up. Let me tell you guys, like, please never, ever give up. Like, no matter what you go through, no matter the people you meet, if you think you can run, like, you, you, like, you can't be that bad. Even thinking of it, I didn't even know why I went there in the first place, not being prepared because my whole process took just a month to ship out because I told them I wanted to leave early. So they were like, oh, you have a slot. There is an empty slot for you. I'm like, put my name there. I'm trying to leave. And I went. I wasn't prepared. But through all that, I still passed. I still forced. I still kept motivating myself. I did all that and I passed. So if you were in the same situation as me, trying to ship out LE because of personal reasons, family reasons, please don't give up. Like, it's so easy to pass boot camp. Like right now, looking back at all those times, I could have done that. I could have been on E2 before I left, but it is what it is. Like, you learn from your mistakes. That is the whole reason I'm making this video because if I got everything so easy, there would have been no point in making this video so this video is just to uplift you guys like motivate you guys when you go to boot camp if i did it remember that you guys can do it too i hope you guys have a wonderful day i don't know if i missed anything out no and i 
so because it was COVID, our boot camp was kind of different a little bit because they were just trying to get people to go. You know, they wanted to, you know, social distance kind of thing. So they were doing everything fast for you to graduate and leave. So we like experienced the whole 100% of boot camp. We didn't even get to do the gas chamber thingy, which I'm so excited about because I didn't want to do it in the first place. <laughs> But yeah, um, if I did it, you guys can do it. So don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Like, subscribe to my channel. We're on the road to 1K. Subscribe to my channel. Share this video to your friends. People are going to boot camp, tell them, tell a friend to tell another friend, to tell another friend. And comment down below any questions you have. I'm going to try to post more often i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day bye Baby,